ओम श्री साई राम वेलकम टू प्रशांति संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम वेन एवर डिवोट इज कॉल आउट टू स्वामी विथ फर्व ही इमीडिएटली रशेस टू देर एट इवन इफ इज फिजिकली फार अवे जस्ट एज अ मदर शावर्स अफेक्शन ऑन हर चाइल्ड साई माता showers love on all her devotees she saves them from material and spiritual downfall and uplifts them the devotees may recall many such incidents where they have experienced bhagwan shri sat sai baba's affection this one one such incident when swami was young in madras one day he told his devotees very soon i will go and give darshan to one devotee who has served me in my earlier incarnation soon after this swami one day fell on the ground and his body became stiff like a wooden log the devotees around him were worried suddenly vibhuti started oozing out of the sole of his left leg words in hindi and marathi could be heard from swami's mouth but the tone of his voice was different and sounds like that of an old man soon he came back to his normal self and sat down he told the devotees i had gone to shirdi to give darshan to abdul when some some devotees inquired at shirdi they were told that abdul from shirdi had passed away at the same time who was this abdul baba this abdul baba was originally from nanded in maharashtra he uh, came to baba in the year 1908 probably for sainas darshan and stayed there permanently until sainas took samadhi abdul baba lived in chawadi he used to work all day and regarded as seva of sainath he used to especially like the task of sweeping masjid mai and lighting the lamp besides this he did a very important task while in the dwarka mai whatever sainath spoke or whatever instructions he imparted abdul had a habit of making a note of everything in his personal diary after sign our samadhi he spent his time reading the holy quran and continued to recite in the dwarka mai till his end to reward abdul for his seva to the previous body to bless him with darshan at the time of his death the bhakta vatsala sri satsai nad went from dras to shirdi and merged the devotee in himself that's what our bhagwan is sri satsai baba helps all of us to cross this ocean of life while crossing this bhava sagara devotees undergo suffering pain and fear but with its such such constant guidance they are able to reach the shores of bliss and peace easily at the tender age of 14 sri satchai declared his avatar hood and taught his first bhajan manasa bhajare guru charanam you can cross this 
turbulent ocean of life only by meditating on the Guru's feet. There is a very touching story that exemplifies this truth. Yes, it really exemplifies this truth, fundamental truth. Srimati Amala Shankar, the famous dancer and director, went to Puttaparthi in August 1997. In the month of November, she was to perform Mahamanava, a dance ballet based on the life of Buddha in Prashanti, and this was the purpose of her visit. She sat in darshan along with other ladies, only as a mere formality. She had no devotion for Swami. In fact, she had an adverse opinion. As Swami arrived in darshan, she observed his graceful walk and she felt as if he was floating. As he approached closer, seeing his divine form, her negative opinion started changing. Yes, when Swami finally came to her and said, Oh, 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 oh Udai Shankar's wife? She was astonished. How could he recognize me among, amongst all the ladies? She wondered. Swami pointed his finger toward the interview room and walked on. Amala Shankar did not grasp the meaning of his gesture. So the lady sitting next to her told her to go to the interview room. When she went along with others to the interview room, Swami pulled a chair and asked Amalaji to sit on it and said, Your knees pain a lot. Your left knee especially is more painful, isn't it? Then he inquired about the rest of her family members. He was most interested in her son, Anand Shankar. Swami suddenly said, Remember, Anand is very important in your life. He uttered this sentence four times. Then he asked her, Ask her, What do you want? She said, Your blessings. Swami immediately materialized a crystal japamala rosary and gave it to her, saying, Here are your blessings. Take. In November 1997, Amalaji went to Puttaparthi to perform the dance ballet Mahamanav on the occasion of International Ladies' Day. Swami led the ballet. The following year, in November 1998, she again went to Puttaparthi to perform the dance ballet Sita Swayamvar. At the time, her son Ananda Shankar and daughter Mamata Shankar also accompanied her. Just prior to the for performance, Swami came to them, held another Anand Shankar's hands in his and said, You will be with me. Earlier, during the first interview, Swami had told Amalaji, Anand is very important in your life. While talking to Anand on this occasion, he said, You will be with me. Nobody understood the meaning of these two sentences at that time. The dance ballet was a success. Swami liked it, so they were immen immersed in happiness. Amalaji continued her visits to Puttaparthi. In March 1999, all of a sudden, Anand had to undergo a surgery. After the surgery, Amalaji prayed to Swami. 
Swami called her to Puttaparthi, but did not speak to her for eight days. On the eighth day, Swami called her, gave her an air ticket, and asked her to go to Calcutta immediately. Asan Anand had passed away. Amalaji had lost her Anand, who was the bliss of her life, who, like his name, was always joyous and made others happy. This was like a thunderbolt on her. Someone who was with Amalaji said to Swami, somebody should accompany her. Swami exclaimed, nobody else will go with her. He told Amalaji, I myself will accompany you. Through the entire journey, she could feel Swami's presence with her. She was peaceful and detached, as if she was going for the last darshan of somebody else's son. She looked out from the aircraft and could see black clouds below, and the clouds above were emitting golden rays. Amalaji felt Swami telling her, these black clouds of calamity are below you, and God's grace is over you, is over your head. This is life. How you accept it is up to you. While speaking about this tragic episode, Amalaji speaks in a calm and detached way. She says, Today I have realized why Anand was important in my life. Bhagwan Baba showered his grace on me. He also gave me the atmic strength to tread the right path. Swami tells us, to keep doing our assigned task, I am doing it now and will continue to do so until I merge with God. Just like Swami helped Amalaji, Shankar, may He gives us all the strength to overcome our sufferings. This is our prayer at His lotus feet. Avatar means to come down. God comes down to earth in human form so that it is easier for man to attain him. Bhagavan Sri Krishna has proclaimed, whenever there is a decline in dharma, I incarnate in order to establish righteousness. Whenever God incarnates, he has the powers of omnipresence, omnipotence, and omniscience. The Purnavatara has 16 kalas, 16 aspects or potencies. The present incarnation, Bhagavan Sri Satsai Baba, is an embodiment of all the powers mentioned. Sri Satsai says, if it come holding the Shankha conch, Chakra the wheel, Gada maze, and Padma lotus, you would have run away from me or kept me in a museum. If I had come as an ordinary person like you, you would not have taken notice of me at all. Therefore, I have taken this human form and I perform miracles from time to time to reveal my glory. I have incarnated to establish righteousness, the principles of truth, righteousness, peace, love, and nonviolence dwell in me. To attain me, you must be truthful, follow righteousness, obtain peace through love, and you will become an embodiment of peace. To hate someone is also a type of violence. Swami always says this, don't try to understand me. None can ever understand me. Instead, making efforts, 
to attain the eternal bliss. Make all efforts to attain that eternal bliss. That I shower on you. See this wonderful statement. Of course, you don't mind if I repeat. None can ever understand me. Instead, make efforts to attain the eternal bliss that I shower on you. Swami mentions four important points here. One, Bhagavan, any incarnation, attracts his devotees through chamatkar, miracles, so that that will bring in them some scar, a kind of refinement that would make them to take to service, paropakar, benevolence, and finally bestow on them sakshatkar, meaning self-realization. Therefore, having been drawn by his chamatkar, leelas, are miracles, they take to service paropakar, and then they finally experience sakshatkar or self-realization. While in the process, samskar, refinement, a change naturally happens. This is what Swami said during one of his discourses. Swami says, I only want your love. I can give my life for those who give me pure love. Those of full faith and pure love, I am willing to do anything for them. Here is a small story exemplifying Swami's avatarhood. During 1972, summer showers courses at the Brindavan Ashram, Mother Ishama was also attending the course along with some other uh, lady devotees. The course was in its 11th day. Early in the morning, Isarama rushed to Peddabottu. Peddabottu is another senior lady who served Swami uh, even while he was in Shirdi and uh, exclaimed to her, Isarama explained, exclaimed to her, to this old grand lady, but the Bhattu this way, Oh, do you know our Swami is really God? On hearing this, but the Bhattu, a lady devotee, burst out laughing. Isarama asked her, Why are you laughing? But the Bhattu replied, I am laughing because finally you are convinced that Swami is God. But the Bhattu further said, Tell me what happened. Isarama said to her, you know, for the last three to four days, I have been unwell. Yesterday I had fever and I was unable to sleep at night. Swami came to me. Stopping her, Paddabhattu intervened. Did he come in your dream? Israma said, no, 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 no. He came to me in person and asked me how I was feeling. I told him that I had body ache. As I was saying this, I saw him as Prabhu Ramachandra, Lord Sri Rama, with a crown on his head and a bow in his hand. I wanted to bend down and touch his feet, but I was so weak, I could not get up. In a moment, Swami resumed his normal form. Smilingly, softly, he materialized Vibhuti for me and went away. Many devotees around the world have had similar experiences which can come only from an avatar. What is different from, what is different about Sri Satsai avatar is that his power of love brings about transformation of the heart which is the biggest miracle. Thank you. Sai Ram.